The ancient Greeks were remarkable in their quest for knowledge, particularly in the field of astronomy, where they made significant strides despite the lack of modern technology. Their investigations into the cosmos led them to insights that were astonishingly accurate given the tools and knowledge available at the time. Here's a breakdown of how they explored various astronomical questions alongside their findings and how those compare to modern understandings. Just before we dive into the video, you can show your support by subscribing to our channel and giving this video a like. Now, let's dive in. The Greeks had several methods for determining that the Earth was not flat, but a sphere. One of the most famous observations was by Eratosthenes, who in the 3rd century BC measured the shadow cast by a stick in Syene and Alexandria at noon during the summer solstice. Noticing the difference in shadow length, he used geometry to estimate the Earth's circumference. Eratosthenes estimated the Earth's circumference to be about 250,000 stadia, which, depending on the exact length of the stadium used, is roughly equivalent to 24,000 to 29,000 miles. The actual circumference of the Earth at the equator is about 24,901 miles, showcasing Eratosthenes' remarkable accuracy. Another Greek astronomer, Hipparchus, who lived in the 2nd century BC, used the Earth's shadow during a lunar eclipse to estimate the distance to the Moon. He assumed the Earth's shadow in space was roughly twice the diameter of the Earth and estimated the distance to the Moon to be about 30 Earth diameters away, which is close to the modern value of 30.1 Earth diameters. The Greeks also used simple geometry to estimate the Moon's size, concluding it was smaller than Earth, but by a factor that is not precisely recorded in surviving texts. The distance to the Sun was much harder to measure accurately. However, Aristarchus of Samos, in the 3rd century BC, used the phases of the Moon to estimate the sizes and distances of the Sun and Moon. He posited that when the Moon is exactly half illuminated, the angle between the Sun and Moon must be 90 degrees. Through geometric calculations, he concluded that the Sun is much farther away than the Moon and significantly larger. Although his methods were sound, the exact distances and sizes he proposed were less accurate due to observational difficulties. He estimated the Sun to be about 19 times further away than the Moon, whereas it is actually about 400 times further. The ancient Greeks' understanding of astronomy was founded on careful observation, geometry, and logical reasoning, rather than the technology and instruments that modern astronomers rely on. Their estimates for the size of the Earth the distance to the Moon, and the understanding that the Earth is spherical were remarkably accurate. While their estimates for the distances to the Moon and Sun and the sizes of these bodies were not as precise, they laid the groundwork for future astronomers. The Greeks showed that even without modern technology, systematic observation and mathematical analysis could unveil the cosmos's mysteries. This video underscores the blend of curiosity intellectual rigor, and innovative thinking that propelled ancient Greek astronomy. It's a testament to their enduring legacy in the field of science, providing a foundation upon which later civilizations could build.